What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty juice and spiritual truths. I'm your spirit guide host, Miss CC, and today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the collective. Please understand this will not apply to every single individual, as every single individual is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody who this video is actually meant for, whoever's cross watching for you, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in, but please utilize this information for its most positive purpose. Spirit, tell me to talk to you. So, I will be talking to you guys with a few of my tarot decks. Um, for more information, everything will be, of course, in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my video. Without further ado, Collective, I am talking to you. I'm feeling very spiritually enlightened right now. Macaroni and cheese. Oh, and chicken nuggets, food, lots of food. Okay, if you hear anything in the background, it's my daughter. She's playing Fortnite and there are gunshots outside my window, okay? Um, outside the window it was, I think it was fireworks. Um, anyway, I get a kid's meal macaroni and cheese, chicken nuggets, maybe somebody is cooking this. And this is just, this is an odd combination. Um, it might be the something, the color of something. I get baked, bake, oven baked. You can bake macaroni and cheese. Um, I get chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese. Okay. So somebody's cooking possibly for a child. Somebody's watching somebody cook. And like you all know, this is the little side message before we get into the actual tarot. Somebody is cooking macaroni and cheese and chicken nuggets, possibly for a child. Maybe somebody, I feel like somebody is watching somebody cook. I get, y'all heard that? See, that was not... That was, it was a firework. That was a firework. Some of them, but some of them sounded like gunshots. All of them didn't sound like that. All right, y'all. A gift. Okay, so I feel like you're cooking for someone. Um, I feel like you're cooking for someone. Yeah, you're cooking for somebody or you're thinking to do something for somebody. And so the person that you're thinking about, you want to give them a gift. I feel like you want to cook for them. You want to get them some food or you want to, you want to make them something simple, something simple. I feel like somebody is thinking about you or you're thinking about them and you're wanting to cook for them. And as a, as a gift in that order, this, look at that. 16 and then 17. And you see, if you put the card like this, it looks like she's handing this man the gift or she would be the one or he's some way, form or fashion thinking about it. I feel like somebody wants to cook for somebody. Somebody's gift to somebody is food. somebody's trying to cook for somebody and I think they want to cook something simple like chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese where's the vegetable ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union so I feel like somebody oh oh Oh, not in my video. We curse those nasty spirits. Hmm. Anyway, I feel like somebody might be, I feel like this to me feels like a stepmother, stepfather situation. Let me cook for this child or let me cook for someone. And I feel like because you're ascending, it's like, I feel like either you're learning from a, a mistake or you're getting used to 
yeah, you're getting used to something. It's only a matter of time or you have time to, you know, maybe change the situation. It says, need time, take time, in time cycles, time to heal progress. So I feel like you're learning possibly how to be with someone who may have kids. Maybe you don't have kids. I feel like one way you could get cool with someone's kids is by cooking. It, and I feel like it's like, well, maybe this person is learning how to be a stepmother or a stepfather. I get stepmother, stepfather vibes. Like somebody might, like, I feel like somebody, somebody is, in, is about to maybe intertwine in a relationship and whatever relationship they intertwine in, it's like, let me get used to being a step parent or let me get used to being with a person who has children. So I'm gonna just go and cook up a little meal, okay? Some really good macaroni and cheese and some really tasty um, chicken nuggets. Maybe this is what the individual likes. Or maybe these are their favorite foods. Maybe somebody likes chicken and macaroni and cheese, soul food. And it's like, this is probably one of the best ways to get to them is through food. Yeah, like maybe somebody is getting ready to start a relationship. Maybe somebody's getting ready to start start something with someone. Now I want, want awareness, pay attention. So you're either getting ready to start something with somebody and you need to be aware of some things. Um, I feel like you're going to be okay. I feel like you're paying attention, you're changing. Um, you're, you're, you're reading the signs and this is what's helping you to grow. Oh, either that or you, you, maybe this is, I feel like, no, you're, I feel like you're aware of something. You're, I feel like you're, you're, you're paying attention. This is confirmation that you've been paying attention to what this person, you like, you're aware of what this person likes, what they want, or something that you feel that would be good for you to do for them. And this is the way to do it. A mistake is something to learn from. Yeah. So I feel like you've gone through this situation in the past and maybe due to your behavior or the other person's behavior it's like it's like due to the behavior that you would display it's like now we we not on that like we not we not doing that no more so now that I'm in this relationship, maybe you've dealt with somebody that had kids, but you didn't really put too much into it or whatever the case was. Yeah no communication and then with somebody that maybe you weren't romantically involved with we want to take those oh y'all the decks i'm using the ink romancy um apocalypse 2 deck is freaking awesome i absolutely love this i actually found this through butch tarot who's actually pretty cool. Not sponsored by anybody or anything like that, but this is the deck that I'm gonna be using um, for the tarot. Now, this is a side message. It could correlate to this, but it doesn't have to. I think it does though, just because of how I feel. Um, yeah, so I feel like maybe you were in a relationship with somebody who had kids, but you may not have taken it seriously. And now it's like, okay, I'm gonna take this seriously or whatever. Um, I'm going to take this seriously or whatever. And you're, you're doing that. So one way of you taking this serious is, hey, I'm going to do something that they like or that they enjoy, which is cooking. Or they like a certain food and you might just know how to cook, okay? So I feel like 
right now, somebody is not saying something to a romantic partner or a romantic interest that was, I feel like this was a higher level of commitment. This was a higher level of commitment, meaning you and this person were deep in love with each other, or you and this person may have been married, or you've been together at least two plus years, you know, type of situation. This is somebody that you feel really, that you were very much close to. Um, and I feel like you all are not talking or somebody's not, one person isn't really communicating with the other. One person isn't really communicating with the other. It's like, it's weird because it's like, I feel like you love or you're in love with somebody but you're not communicating it it's like you're showing action it's like if you look at this card right they're not talking it doesn't look like they're talking it just looks like they're laying together you know they're just laying comfortably together so this might be somebody that you lay comfortably together with or something like that but it's like one person is not talking. One person is not communicating. Now, if you see they're both sitting in the same position, they're doing the same thing just on opposite sides. So neither one is talking. But then when you have this on this side, so it really doesn't matter which side, but there's a lack of communication or there's no movement or with this particular person. So it's like, I love you. I'm laid up with you, but I'm not telling you. It's like if you, if you, it's like if you meet somebody, right? And it's like maybe a week after meeting them and y'all done hung out a few times, call, text, you know, whatever. And then you just, but it's like when you all talk on the phone, you all talk a little bit, but it's mostly text. And it's like you all see each other, you have your moment, you know what I'm saying? And then you go, and I don't know, it's just like, it's like one person I feel like is more, I feel like one person is more quiet than the other. Let's just say that. One person is a little more quiet, reserved than the other, but it's like, it's like, it's like, I like you, but I'm not telling you it's a relationship like that, I feel like. And I feel like one person feels Like maybe they're not financially stable enough. I feel like one person has all they need, but they, one person has all they need, but they don't feel like it. They feel like they're at a loss. And the person who feels, so there's somebody here who feels like they might feel broke. They might not really be broke, but they might feel like they're broke. But this person might, be the type of person to where they can they can manage their bills and but they can't really do a whole whole lot more than that it's like i can it's like i can't travel every four months but i can eat whatever i want literally every single day you know what i'm saying it's kind of like a situation like that where one person is like shy and reserved not really saying anything the other person might be in their head or this, you might be a fire sign and a uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Gemini. Um, but it's like, and the uh, one person feels like that. And then the other person feels like, man, I'm broke, but maybe they're not fully broke. They just don't really have a whole lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody just doesn't feel nurturing somebody, but whoever this person is that doesn't really feel nurturing, I feel like they might be receiving an unexpected gift or somebody is thinking about them or somebody might feel like, so it's like if you and somebody else, you were talking to somebody else, they might say, oh, I see her and I think she's broke. So I would like to help her or help him and I'm only saying her because the empress but 
her, him, whoever it is, both. Um, Cause this could apply, it may or may not, but it's like somebody might see somebody as broke or feel like maybe they, I feel like somebody feels broke, but they might not be broke. They just feel like it. Somebody feels broke, but they might not, they might can, you know, suffice, but, and I feel like they just, maybe they don't really feel nurturing. Maybe I feel like somebody, somebody might be having a, um, I feel like there's a female that might be having a yeast infection. A female might be grumpy because they have a yeast infection. I don't know why that's coming out, but I feel like somebody just don't feel right down there. If this is for a female or a guy. I feel like somebody's all over the place. <laughs> I don't know what this is saying. Somebody is just unorganized and all over the place. I feel like you have two people here who are just live together, but living two, it's like together, but living two totally different lives. And I feel like the more feminine energy doesn't feel nurturing, may not feel, I feel like this person may not feel girly. They may feel very dominant or this person might feel dominant. Somebody thinks some, I feel like somebody thinks somebody is, does somebody think somebody is, Hold on a second, y'all. If somebody gives you a gift, it might be a watch. If somebody gives you a gift, it might be, I don't know where that's coming from, but if somebody gives you something, it may be a watch. He's probably thinking, I wonder what she's thinking. Like, and here the masculine is thinking, I wonder what she thinks. Or it could be vice versa, whatever. But one person is one wondering what the other person is thinking. But I feel like maybe this person is thinking what. I don't know. Maybe somebody. <laughs> what is underneath the deck? This is crazy. Okay, so yeah, like I feel like okay. What are you all doing? Because <laughs> I'm so confused. So there's there. I feel like this is somebody is like really, really, really wanting to be romantic with someone. I feel like somebody wants to ask somebody something. It's like, I want you to be my girlfriend or my boyfriend, or I, I want us to become fiancés, or I want us to move forward, or it's something like that. I feel like somebody wants that, and they're not really, it's like they're not communicating it. They're just, they're acting it out, but they're not really saying it. It's like if I go, you're like, what? And I'm like, I'm asking you to tell me the time, but how many people would not have thought that? Or how many people would have thought that? You know what I'm saying? If I go like this, somebody might say, you, do your wrist hurt, you know, or your skin tone, a tattoo, like the hair, like, is it hard? Is it soft? Like, is it pressure right there? Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't really know. 
it, are you trying to ask me the time? Are you telling me the time? Are you telling me to look at my watch? Like I want to watch something that goes on my wrist. You know what I'm saying? It's a thousand and one things that you could, you could, you could say, but you're not saying any of those things. You're just like hugging the person and then like you're touching the person. You know what I'm saying? This is super freaky, super freaky, deaky, weird, super freaky, deaky, weird. I feel like somebody got somebody a watch and they're happy. Look at that. Completely fulfilled. I, why is this person mad about being happy? Like this is somebody who is like really, really happy, but it's like dry. Why are you? <laughs> why are you so fucking dry? Like what is wrong? Like I feel like somebody is in love, but they're dry as shit about it. It's like Napoleon Dynamite. He be excited as shit, but be dry as fuck. Like, okay, I'll go with you to the basketball court. Like, he'll be excited as shit. Like, but he dry. <laughs> this is like some Napoleon Dynamite type of shit. Like, I love it. I really do. I love this. It's so funny to me. This is so funny to me. I feel like, but somebody is scared to take, somebody is scared to possibly take a risk because they, I feel like some, the whoever feels like they're broke might feel like they don't want to take the risk because they're broke. They might not, I feel like this person isn't even really as broke as they're trying to make themselves seem. <laughs> like, it's like, you're depressed about nothing. Like you're very much into your head. And this, I don't know if the air, if this is Aries or Aquarius, but you could be an Aries or an Aquarius, or you might be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius. I get Aries or Aquarius. We got Cups, Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio twice. So it's one of those, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or it is, we got the Empress Libra. We got Libra, Gemini, heavy air sign energy, Aquarius, Gem uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, you got earth signs here. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a little bit of fire, even though there's fire in this background. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. We got the eight of wands. This is so interesting. This is why I love tarot. Yeah, I feel like whoever the feminine energy is, they maybe they're afraid to take a leap of faith, but they're 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 possibly going to take a leap of faith and like try to move on to something cooler. Yeah, I feel like they're just and whoever whoever is waiting for them, it's like get your shit together and come on, just come over here or just do this, or just go for it, or it's, it's something like that, it's like, go ahead, come on, like, I'm waiting, somebody is waiting, and the other person is like, come on, and one person is coming, like, I feel like pedaling, or might be boating, somebody is taking a mode of transportation to somebody else, and whoever it is, they're waiting, it's like this person is waiting for them to come or this person is seeing someone off. I feel like whoever this is, they're just going to get over it and they're just going to go for it. It's like I'm nervous as hell, but shit. It's like I'm nervous as fuck, but but I'm going to move forward with this. Like I'm, I'm going to try this. Let's Let's see. But I feel like whoever the empress is, they feel broke. See? I feel like they know they have everything that they need, but to some degree, it's like mentally, they know they have what they need, but bodily, they feel broke. In the, in the reality, they feel broke, even though I feel like they know they have intellect, they have intelligence, they have enough money to pay bills, or like they have enough money, but they're not full of money. Like... Like I said, this person I feel like can afford to eat whatever they want to eat every single day. If they want to go and buy a watch or buy a gift, they can do that. 
if you know something comes up and they got to pay a ticket or you know just little things like that this person can just like you know if they want to run out and buy a little outfit real quick like they could do that like the the simple things but if it came down to going to let's say I live in DC right now driving out to Virginia and then coming back and then uh, a week later going to New York and driving up there because it's right up the street and then coming back and then maybe three weeks later going back to Virginia and you know what I'm saying it's like the more big things that you would do this person may not be able to do that but it's like if I wanted to take like a weekend I could but after that weekend, it might be a little minute before we just go back out. You know how you have some people that travel all the time, but then you have some people that don't travel. Some people just travel for work. It's just kind of one of those situations. I feel like whoever this person is, but somebody wants to give somebody a gift and it's probably a watch. I don't know why, because I got my watch right here and it's like it was literally leaning over the gift and maybe that's what it was. I seen like yellow and it's little you see how that's little it fits in a little box with a little bow you know something and look at that um yellow and red yellow and red i have one yellow and red and then there's yellow and red right here i don't know why that is so freaking so freaky dicky but yellow nails like but you see that the picture is like yellow, golden-ish. You know what I'm saying? I got a yellow watch right here. It's a small like gift. That's crazy as fuck. But um, I feel like, yeah, somebody's going to cook for somebody. Something really, really simple. I feel like it's going to be fried and macaroni and cheese. Fried nuggets and macaroni and cheese that sounds good but we need a vegetable inside of there okay if you don't you better 